Hi everybody, and welcome back to another adventure with me, Erin. Today we'll be playing Ghost Trick and we'll be continuing. We just went four minutes back into the past when we were already four minutes in the past, so let's see. We're going to save the pigeon guy. Just don't know how. All right, man, jump in there and stop the explosion, would you? Easy enough for you to say. Foolish of you to say, too. If you stop the explosion, it'll just do me in some other way. Fair enough, then. Then jump in there and then care of the man in red, would you? I repeat, easy enough for you to say. And most likely impossible to boot. That huge explosion didn't even make him bat an eye. Well, what do you propose, then, prof? Pray tell. Your best bet is to save me during the explosion without him noticing. He's enough for you to say, she's what's with all these people? Well, you know what? They're kind of right. Anywho, jump in there and do something. Yeah, okay, let's see here. This is a door. Eh. Let me just get in here. Can I go up here? Nope. What's down here? Oh, two of those rats. So can I get down there? No. Oh. It's gonna be fine. I think I know what to do. I'm not too sure though, but I think I know what to do. I'm just gonna open up this here door this door when uh, the explosion is uh, about to set that way the pigeon guy will live and Sissel will not notice that's Sissel yeah 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 and then they're talking and then they're talking and then they're talking some more I don't really want to listen to what they all say it's just like you said Yeah, the pitching guy is standing straight on top of that door. Let him please stand there. I'm just gonna do a trick at exactly the right time. I'll be leaving this country forever tonight, but before I do, I need to erase all the evidence that those powers of mine exist. Yeah, too freaking bad for you, along with the contraption in this room. You know, he is so manipulative. I just... Ugh, that thing emanating from his body. I think I saw that somewhere before. Two. And... Sissel. Hey, I know that voice. Help me. Where are you? Find me. Before I'm carried away. Hmm? What's with the frail sounding call for help? He's here somewhere. I know who it is. Friend of yours? Yep, a little guy that looks fragile but has a strength that surprises you. Missile! Well, he's asking for you to find him. Before he's carried away, no less. But I'm almost out of time. Should I look for him? Yeah. It's no use. I can't open it. The fact that a professor's standing on it has something to do with it. It may look small, but I'm pretty heavy set. He sounds like no... So proud on that fact, too. This door. Such a pity. Too bad it doesn't open downward. Sometimes life can be so hard, wouldn't you agree, Professor? Yeah, that's why we're both dead. Hmm, door that opens downward, eh? Oh. I need missile. I just don't know where to find him. I think he's down here. Yeah, there he is. Sissel! Here I am! Oh hey, it's... Missile! What are you doing there? Do you really have to ask? Seriously, are you really going there? Uh, no, that's okay, never mind. Anyway, I need your powers. Will you help me out? Of course! Here, let me come join you. Ah, there we go. That's better. 
Okay, here I am, Sissel. Now, maybe things will flow in a new direction. Even though the flow of the sewer is a little bit stinky. Just a little. Okay. Time to do this really, really, really quickly. Okay, missile. I need that door. I need something. I need something that looks like this. But isn't it? Let's have a talk. Do you remember how to use my powers? Yeah, you can swap things that have the same shape, right? Well, to be precise, I can swap things that look like they have the same shape. What's the difference? As I was being carried by the wind and falling into the river, I realized something. If you look at a thing from different angles, it looks different. You know, that's a pretty good point for a little doggy who came in with the sewage. Yeah, that is a pretty good point. Anything, anything that looks a little similar to this. I don't know. Okay, let's stop that explosion. Uh, no, we can't do that. Okay, let's take care of the man in red then. No, we can't do that either. We can't do this, we can't do that, what can we do? We let the explosion happen, then we rescue the old pigeon guy without the man in red noticing. And your powers are key to all of it, missile. Oh, I don't know about that, but I'll do my best. We're talking about a matter of seconds, we can't miss our chance. Okay, so apparently there is still a chance. I just don't know what it is. For f God. I can't really go anywhere with missile either. Oh wait, I can go here. Oh, this kind of looks like the same. How do I switch it around? I know! Oh, sorry. This quick little guys are making a fuss about something. Sissel, my animal instincts are starting to surface. If you mean you want to chase them, I think you'd be alive to do that. Hmm. There must be some kind of red feast in a trash can. Those things usually make a bigger commotion than that. A bigger commotion, eh? Let's do this. I think I see something. I can swap these. So the turret has help. There we go. There we go. A lot of rats. Now that's what I call some proper commotion. They're making that trash can dance. Truth be told, I feel a bit like dancing myself now. It's getting harder and harder to hold back my old instincts back. What dangerous bunch. It's getting a little bit crowded in there. Let's do ghosts. Okay. Yes. Let's switch these up. Swap. There we go. Now it's down. Let's it down. There we go. Now it looks exactly the same. Like this. Let's swap them. There we go. And the guy in red never even know what hit him. Sorry, little pigeon. As for you, Inspector. I have a little job for you. Can't move. 
I think I broke the full five broken bones. I won't mind. I don't prevent you from manipulating you. It might hurt a little bit when I move you though. Quite a bit actually. Damn you! Oh, poor guy. But the pitching guy is okay. Can't believe it. You lot actually pulled it off. Sorry, Inspector Criminal, I couldn't do anything to help you. And there I am, pull broken, heap of arms and legs. No matter how I enjoyed the show. Matt's disappearing at. That's it, nothing left, baby. Yeah, except. Unlike a normal magic trick, I'm the one that managed to vanish without a trace here. New info. Awesome. Fate of Burgund. So that's one now, and one more to go. What's the matter? You look like you'd rather be dead. Not that you aren't. I was just remembering the fact now. Right about now? The real me is giving the poor justice minister a real fright. Had a phone call? Yeah, he was pretty upset. Excuse me, mister. Hmm? You really shouldn't be mean like that. And <laughs> what's this live little creature? Oh, this little doggy is a warrior it keeps Camilla safe. Or he would be if he was still actually full of life. Camilla. Gods and heavens, what a terrible thing. That poor little girl taken hostage. It's a cruel twist of fate indeed. Wait just a minute. Miss Camilla is a hostage? Yeah, we're sorry, little warrior. Miss Camilla, a hostage? What's a hostage? Anyway, Inspector Cabanela. It's time to save your life now. But you couldn't get very far when you tried before, am I right? Oh, I, I technically I never even tried. <laughs> but this time it's different, right, Sissel? That's right. With us working together, it's a whole different situation. We'll save the inspector in white, and then we'll go rescue Camilla, okay? Okay, let's hurry up and get through this. Gee, kids, you make me feel like an afterthought. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, let's get started. Inspector Camarillo is upstairs, so our first step is to get up there. Sissel, I'll go up first and wait for you. Oh, okay. Yeah, he's he has it easy. Okay, lovey dove, we need your help. Carry this measuring device upstairs. It has Mr. Ghost in it, so don't drop it. Gee, thank you, pigeon guy. There we go. Thanks, Pidgey. Oh. There you are, Sissel. Sorry for the wait, Miss All. Four minutes from now, and the inspector will be killed by a gun. You just jump in there and stop him from firing, would you? There you go again with that stuff. Besides, it doesn't make any sense. If you stop him from frying, Firing, he'll just kill you some other way. Wait a minute, that sounds familiar. Yep, same situation as mine. Your best bet this time around is to allow him to shoot and then save Cavanella without him noticing. Well, how the fudge am I supposed to do that? Oh, it's even worse than last time. Anywho, jump in there and do something! Okay, I'm ready to jump in, Sissel. Don't forget, whenever you want to use my powers, just touch the missile icon. I know. Let's uh, be our ghost seal cells and let's see where we can go from here. Well, not very far. Missile can explore a little bit further than I can. I see an attack here. It's fun. Mm. Nope. No, that's not what I wanted to do. I just wanted to get past here. Hmm. Hmm. That actually looks the same as this one. Okay. I can't actually go anywhere, so I'll just have to wait. Yeah, and they're talking, and they're talking, and they're talking, and then it's that. And then I can actually go somewhere. Not too far, though.
He's turning around, that means I can do something. Crap. What was that? Nothing! I promise! Can't go there. Yeah, Inspector Cavanello is not talking. Well, that's good. He didn't see it. That's the kind of guy you are. And then Cavanella shoots him. I got nothing to say to you. You never listen anyway. There we go. Okay. This is my chance. Oh, well, actually, apparently it's not. Oh, he put it a little bit closer. That's good. Okay. Let's have a look. See. I'm not very talkative right now, but that's because, you know, I'm, uh... Okay, so I can move this now, because he isn't looking. Let's see... There isn't a lot I can do. But maybe I can do just enough. Let's see, Missile? Could you help me out here? These two now look alike. But they aren't alike. I don't know- Oh wait, I remember now. I was going- Well, would you look at that right on the hook? I love it had so warm and must have all soft. Hey now, that's one of them. That- that I'm looking at it. That had it's the same shape as the helmet you just knocked down. Aha! I thought so. Yeah, because, um, let me explain just a little bit of a second. Last time I played this, I remember doing this for like hours because a bullet has pretty much the same, you know, shape as this knit hat and of course the helmet. So at first, before you know all of this, which I just did, you try to switch the helmet with the bullet and then Camelia gets hit in the face and does a backflip, which is hilarious, which I did a couple of times out of pure frustration for not getting this. But now I got it in one go because it was stuck in my head for so long. So, um, sorry about that, but that's just the way I do it. And here we go. He grabs the gun. And then I have to time this just right. That was another condition of my deal. To wipe out everybody who knew about Temsek. He's going to shoot! It's too late! Again? I'm going to shut again? No, wait. Our chance is coming up. The last split second, right? Leave it to me. Okay. There we go. Stop the bullet midair. Would you look at that? The bullet is hanging in midair between the gun and the inspector's forehead. Now is our chance. I'm here in the bullet right now. Let's swap this little thing with something else. Well, what? It's our only hope. There's gotta be something here with the same shape and direction as the bullet. I never saw a bullet before. It has such a cute little shape, doesn't it? He can check out the bullet's shape on the top screen. Well, in this case, the side screen for you guys. Okay, got it. Now I know what it's shaped like. Yeah. So yeah, I could swap it with the helmet, but it has to be the same. Hurry now, swap that hanging bullet with something else. I can check out the bullet shape on the top screen. There's gotta be something here with the same shape. And the helmet pretty much has the same shape, but it's gotta be the same direction, which is the hat, so. The soft knit hat. Plop. There we go. <laughs> Looks ridiculous. And Sissel doesn't even notice. He just goes like, oh, it's done. I don't think he noticed. Nope. Looks like you pulled off another magic disappearing act. <laughs> nah, say again. I love knit hat. So warm, most of all soft. Did I? Did I do all right? You did a fine job, little one. You saved an early life, and I'll keep doing it too. Over and over. Fate of Earth. Here we go. What I saw in just these four minutes gave me all the answers I've been looking for. Oh, your research to spend 10 years pales in comparison, right, Fissa? So you two were working together. That's about the size of it, yeah. Who would believe a story about a manipulator? 
So we pursued it ourselves, just the two of us. I'm quite a crazy character myself, after all. Okay, let's hurry back, back to our time. We have to rescue Miss Camilla. You're right, Missile. And there's a certain guy I have to follow, too. Yep, we actually do. But I'm gonna stop it right there. I'm sorry, a little sneak peek until next uh, week or tomorrow. I have no idea when I'll be posting this. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you do, leave a like, leave a comment. You know how YouTube works. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And check out some of my other vids. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!